The first reason Memphis is not winning the championship this year is their fake tough. The past couple seasons, Memphis has been a real threat in the West. Maybe the toughest team in the league. Round series, Morant. Oh! Or so we thought. Because a lot of that had to do with the effort and energy of being a young, talented team. But this year is a little different for Memphis. They're arrogant, and teams see through it this year. They're fake tough, and they know it. Dylan Brooks says, I feel like this season, when we get talked back to, we just freeze up. This could be the league just getting familiar with Memphis and figuring out how to beat them, but the championship level teams find a way to rise up and stay tough through the postseason. I just don't believe Memphis has it this year. The second reason Memphis is not winning the title this year is Dylan Brooks. Brooks is an average offensive guy and a really good perimeter defender, but he talks. <laughs> Think about what we know about Patrick Beverly and his Michael Jordan level of smack talk, despite a lack of success. Patrick Beverly losing control. Paul said something to him. The problem with smack talk without backing it up is you're not playing basketball. You're playing to the reality TV show that the NBA has turned into. Unless Brooks can completely focus on the game and do something worthy of some smack talk, this is going to be a big distraction for the Grizzlies, and chemistry amongst the team will fall. Now don't get me wrong, talking shit is fun, but winning is the most fun. Who do you want to be, Dylan? Pat Bev, a guy we solely know because of his ability to say words? Or do you want to be a guy who continues to improve and help his team, talking trash when you can back it up? Because when you do that, chemistry is the least of your problems. The third reason Memphis is not winning the title this year is it's just not their time. The Grizzlies are among the best organizations in the league at drafting, and that shows with so much depth on the roster, but the Grizzlies are still a little young to be winning a chip. Coach Taylor Jenkins has him on the right track, and as long as Jaw can keep his head and they continue to draft and develop at this level, the Grizzlies will definitely bust out a championship appearance at least in the next three years or so. Because as young as the Grizzlies are, you still have the Warriors, an experienced postseason team who will end up having a few players back from injury, the Bucks a seasoned championship roster who've been there before and is ready to do it again this year. And then there's Boston, who was there just last year. It's just not in the stars for Memphis this year. The fourth reason Memphis is not winning a title this year is the Steven Adams injury. On a team with so many young guns talking shit to everybody, you need a guy to back you up who holds a different kind of demeanor than the rest of the team. Adams provides a balance to the team's arrogance with a stoic, humble, yet vocal approach to the game. And as absolutely deadly as John Morant is, without Adams' pick and roll game and rebounding, this team can't reach their championship aspirations. Memphis is a solid, elite level team, but they're not ready to win a championship. Although their future still looks bright, they'll have to prove they're tough enough without Adams to make it through the West. And I just don't think this team can get that done without an anchor such as Adams. And the fifth reason Memphis is not winning the title this year is half-court offense. The Grizzlies are a good offensive team in transition, with the fourth best offensive efficiency in the league. But in the playoffs, where the game slows down, you have to be able to score in the half court. And Memphis can do that, but there are 15 teams in the league that do it better than them. I think this is enough of a problem that they won't be able to reach the finals. Although they're young and like to run, can they stave off the exhaustion that comes with the grind of getting through the postseason? If they can outscore teams in the fast break, they'll have a chance against anybody. But playoff defense significantly reduces fast break opportunities. All this being said, Memphis has scores, and they get after it. Coach Taylor Jenkins is a truly underrated coach in this league, and it's really cool to see the entire organization get really good at drafting great talent. I think they'll beat the Lakers in five games, and I really think Kenneth Lofton could help this team as a very talented scoring big man. If they can figure out a pick and roll action with this kid, they'll be much more deadly this playoffs, and they might actually get to the title game. I only say they won't make it, because I don't think the stars are aligning for them. The Adams and Brandon Clark injuries both take away much needed depth to an honestly really deep team, but the favorites for this year have similar rosters when it comes to depth, and that always helps in the grind of the playoffs. It's not impossible, but it's not gonna happen. Sorry, Jaw. But y'all keep taking steps forward and you'll get there for sure. I believe in Jaw Morant. I think he's a dog. And as long as he can keep the dog on the court, the Grizzlies have a very bright future. If you like this video and you wanna see more, man, subscribe. That'd mean a whole lot. And if you have any thoughts on my opinions, you agree, you disagree, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, y'all. Really appreciate you.